वेलकम एवरी वन द क्वेश्चन इज एन हाइड्रोजन एटम मेक्स अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम एन इक्वल टू फाइव टू एन इक्वल टू वन ऑर्बिट द वेवलेंथ ऑफ द फोटोन एमिटेड इज लैमडा सो ऑब्वियसली दिस इज इंग टेकन एज अ स्टैंडर्ड द वेवलेंथ ऑफ द फोटोन वेन इट मेक्स अ ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम एन इक्वल टू फाइव टू एन इक्वल टू टू ऑर्बिट इज सो now we have to do the comparison you have to find it out when a transition occurs from n equal to 5 to n equal to 2 orbit uh, then the options are 8 by 7 lambda 16 by 7 lambda 24 by 7 lambda and 32 by 7 lambda so from where it comes from it basically comes from bohr's condition of frequency that is if the photon transits from the higher energy level to the lower energy level then in that particular case we can say the energy is basically comes out as a photon like this then man diagram this is e2 and this is e1 since e2 is greater than e1 e2 is greater than e1 so h2 is emitted here so uh, now obviously if i use the formula of the equation that is m z square e to the power 4 divided by 8 epsilon not square h square n2 square with a negative sign that is basically the value of the energy comes from the bohr's condition and obviously when the coulomb's law and this let me draw this is the orbit this is the nucleus and electron is basically orbiting in that orbit and in that particular case if i equate this mv square by r with the coulomb's law that is the ze multiplied by e divided by 4 pi epsilon not r square and uh, if i use the condition of quantization that is the angular momentum is the integral multiple of h by 2 pi then we get the equation of the energy after calculating the velocity and the concept of the electrostatic potential energy then the total energy is this okay so this equations comes from there if you uh, can't understand it so please check it about the chapter atom of the cbse syllabus so it is m z square e to the power 4 divided by 8 epsilon not square h square in 1 square there is a negative sign and that is equal to h nu so if i take this thing common that is m z square e to the power 4 8 epsilon not square h square 1 divided by n 1 square minus 1 divided by n 2 square equal to h nu what is nu nu is c by lambda so we can say it is h c by lambda now if i write it down the equations for 1 by lambda then that will be m z square e to the power 4 divided by 8 epsilon not square c h cube 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square okay so if the electron transits from the higher energy orbit to the lower energy orbit then this is the expression and if i put z equal to 1 here then obviously uh, from this equation we can say this is the rydberg constant which is basically 
centimeter inverse after that uh, if z square 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square so from where it just transits from that is here and from to where it transits that is here so let us concentrate on this math what is given there so at first the wavelength is 1 by lambda so that is rh we can say and to taking here j equal to 1 so that is it is just coming from the fifth one so 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 5 square because from n equal to 5 to n equal to 1 okay so if i calculate this so this will be rh and this is 1 and this is 1 divided by 25 so this will be 24 divided by 25 multiplied by rh now 1 divided by lambda prime is equal to is equal to rh for what lambda prime it is from n equal to 5 to n equal to 2 so you can say 1 divided by 1 square 1 divided by 2 square 1 div divided by 5 square so it is rh and this is 1 by 4 this is 1 by 25 so these will become 25 into 4 is 100 okay and here is 25 here is 4 multiplied by rh okay so this will become 21 21 divided by 100 rh so what we have to find it out lambda prime in terms of lambda so 1 lambda prime uh, is equal to lambda prime is equal to we can say it is 100 divided by 21 into rh it just comes from the equation 1 by lambda prime is equal to 21 by 100 into rh and what is rh the value of rh can be taken out from this equation the value of rh value of rh is equal to 25 divided by 24 into lambda so this will become 100 divided by 21 the value of rh is 25 divided by 24 into lambda okay so obviously from here uh, 25 and here 100 this is 4 and uh, 3 8 ja 24 3 7 ja 21 so 8 4 ja 32 divided by 7 lambda so the answer is 32 by 7 lambda. Thank you all of you.